Hi, welcome to Geekology. I'm David Zabiria. And I'm Sven Harvey. And tonight we're covering issue 42 and 43 of Star Trek, the official Starship collection from Eagle Mars. Yes. Right, so Sven has not yet opened his, so while he does that, I will go through the magazines. Now, normally I would start this piece off with... The magazines are always the same, but they're not. No. We've had one or two people uh, pre-message us before yep. we've recorded this episode. Ian Fox, the main one who pointed it out to me on, on Facebook. Yeah. They've changed the quality of the paper on the inside of the magazine, which unfortunately gives it a ripple effect when you're looking at the sheen on it. Now, I'm not sure that's whether, whether that's because the weight of the paper has been altered or is it just it's just not been printed very well I've and no it's soaked idea. the paper and basically caused the sort of damp ripple effect i have no idea we uh, we will contact Eagle moss and find out we've not yet had a chance to do so so standard high gloss cover mm -hmm. they've sticking with their standard format of showing model shots of the ship docking on the stand we then have background information regarding the vessel in question and the episode that it was mainly used in. In this particular ship it was only used in one episode. Then we have the overview of the very basic ship specs. Then we have some information regarding the season that that episode appeared in, which to be fair was an incredibly strong season. Combinating in the last episode, which obviously makes sense for the ship. Some concept art for the ship, mm -hmm. and then on to the next episode. No particularly outstanding information in it. Oh, I don't honest. know. Um, finding out that it was originally going to be a different class was quite interesting. Because um, Olympic class came along much later on, um, and the fact it was actually based on the original designs for the Enterprise from um, from way back when, from Magic. Yeah, it was, it was a variation to Mark, yeah. but I, I, there was nothing in there that stood out to me going, I, I was expecting like maybe some other concept art, like the original concept art for the Enterprise it was going mm. to be, and it's not in there. Yeah. But... That's not to detract from the magazine. Mm. I think it's as always well put together. You know, the yeah, it, it's balanced. Yeah, it's just I was, I was kind of hoping for something. It's, yeah, I mean, we've, we've kind of over. We've got kind of we've been spoiled with some of the shit. Yes, yeah, we've we've been kind of spoiled with information we didn't know before. When to be honest with with next gen, uh, most of the information's out there and we've seen it before. Yeah, it? so yeah. that might be the reason why. Okay, so let's go down to actually reviewing the ship. Now, I obviously have already had a peek through it. Mine. I'm not happy with that base. I'm not happy with the base because it rubs against yeah. the model when it's docked. A bit too much. A bit too tight, isn't it? Mm. The weight distribution in the model is strange as well. Mm. There's little bits of metal all, all over the place, isn't there? The secondary hull is a bit metal. No, I think the secondary hull is all metal. Yeah. Except for the, well, I'd say all metal, not this top piece, but the the, the underneath is, is metal, the yeah. top piece is plastic. Yeah. So. Right. Actually, I got a private message about one of the ships we reviewed a while ago, um, okay. and uh, we didn't notice that the T was missing out on Federation on one of the ships. How small was that? It was tiny. Yeah, tiny, tiny. Don't have them at but, but we missed. But we did miss it. No, we both missed it. So, okay. so we actually need to pay just a little bit more attention when looking at the decals. I mean, there have been spelling errors and things like that. Ooh, ooh. Well, that can't be right. Oh, there you go. Okay. Right. Uh, mine wasn't popped in properly, but I've just nudged it. Again, so <laughs> yeah. Right, so the upper upper part of the... Dome, yeah, primary, primary holes. It's Not really busy looking from the front, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a... so metal, metal, metal bit there, plastic there. Okay, you know, that's that fair enough. Now you're actually holding it, mm. don't you think they really shot it from the best possible angle? Yeah, <laughs> because that's an ugly ship. <laughs> it is an ugly, ugly ship. And I've been really looking forward to this one. 
But having said that, when you look at the concept art, Oh, yeah. Um, the early concept art did actually have warp nacelles that were longer than the secondary hull. You know what? I think that would just make this thing even more ugly than it really? Really actually it is. Can we swap over? Yeah. Oh, okay. See, I was thinking that this cloudy effect on the end of the nacelles might just be on mine, but it's on yours as mm. well. Yours is actually clipped in properly. <laughs> it's yeah. nice. The paint job seems to be equal on both. Decals yeah. are nice. Lots of windows, especially on... Can we call that a saucer section? No. It's round. The globe section. The globe section of the... Actually, that's that's technically, cool. that's, technically, that might be the saucer section. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, well, I'm not loving the night cells. They've used paint on the inside instead yeah. of the clear plastic material we're used to. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm running out of things to say to be honest with you it, it's, it's one a of those, fair representation of the vessel it's a fair representation of yeah yeah I the agree size with and cost I don't I can't the coloration is nice but, oh no, no no I'm not issuing the cost what no. I'm saying is I'm finding it a little hard to actually go well this particularly stands out because there's yeah. nothing on it that particular see I, I don't want to give it a negative review because there's nothing really wrong with there's it. There's nothing really wrong with it, but there's nothing it's fantastic it about no. it either. Um, I like the fact that they've put the mould joint. Yeah. Oh, the mould. Oh, the moulding right joints place. are better on this than on yeah. a lot of their other ships. Oh, actually, can I just yeah. have a quick the finish on it's reasonable. Yeah, I've got a an a piece of paint missing from mine. Oh, okay. You don't on yours. Right. So, having not seen vast amounts of footage of the ship other than in All Good Things, mm -hmm. where I'm definitely thinking they shot it from the exact right, best angles yeah. they could have done. Uh, it's a accurate representation of the artwork, the quality on it's good, the decals are good, the join points are good, even if I did have to push mine back into place. I um, don't like the stand. Yeah, and the, the, the fact that the stand's rubbing is rubbing is against annoying. the model. I I'm not a fan of the the the, the main um, registry number decal because it blurs the number. Yeah, but it did on the the ship. To be fair, it's mm. it, okay. It it blurs it a little more on there because of the size. Yeah, I can't make I'm having real difficulties working out the registry number on on the, the pylons as well. But again, I think that's a size issue yeah. rather than a quality issue. Probably arguable on the front. Yeah. And I'm not entirely sure it should bend upwards either. Like it does on the... Bit hard to tell from the arm. Yeah. It should look, looks like it should be straight and it bends upwards slightly on mine. But that might be just because the way it's been it's applied onto the mm -hmm. vessel. But yeah, I, there's nothing wrong with it really. And there's nothing outstanding about it. It is a solid entry into the, into the collection. I'm giving it a eight, mm -hmm. and okay. the reason I'm giving it an eight because I realise that that is a higher score than I've given ships that I've not been impressed with mm. is purely because a there is nothing actually wrong with it. Yeah. And there is no way on God's green earth that we'd have got the ship any other way. No, quite. So I'm giving it an eight, and I'm going to say to anybody cherry picking ships, get this one mm. purely. Because it stands out from every other Federation vessel yeah. that, that you could possibly get. It is an oddity so, in, a, in a good way. Yeah, it's an oddity in a great way. It's a well done piece in regards to the artwork. Yeah. I'm not sure I'd say it's a well done piece in regards to everything else. But mm -hmm. there's nothing physically wrong with it as a ship. So True. I'm happy with that score. Fair enough. Right. Okay. Second one. Right, so we'll move on to issue 43. The Bio Ship, species 8472. Let's go through the magazine. So, we've already stated about the quality issue with the paper. Yeah. This also runs into the next issue. Mm. But again, 
We don't know why, because we yeah. might have a chance to look at it. We have CG art from CGE, CGI CGI artwork. artwork. <laughs> we have some on-screen footage. We have some bio data for the species. We have some really beautiful artwork yeah. for the version of the ship. We then go on to concept art. More concept art. More concept art. Guess what? Concept, concept art. art. A little bit more back history. A wonderful little concept piece of all these dead boards. Look at this. This is just stunning. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. And then information on the next ship. Now this magazine does stand out from its predecessor due to the sheer volume of different information about 8472 and the, the concept pieces they went through for the ship, which I thought was nice. It's kind of strange when Voyager information comes out because there was stuff available if you really looked into it, but yeah. it wasn't hugely easy to find at the time. And even retrospectively looking back, some of that stuff's quite hard to get. So yeah. it, it's nice that they put so much in. I like the way this one docks on the stand, mm -hmm. although I must confess it did take me two attempts. I think the paintwork on this one is the best paintwork of any of the ships they have previously done. Okay. I love the fact that it sheens. I wouldn't say it looks organic per se, mm. but it's got that sort of sheen that beetles have yeah. on them over the paint that they've tried to put in. The coloration is nice. The weight is the only thing that bothers me. It yeah. feels it feels very like a premium cheap. author from a comic. It does kind of feel like something from a comic. Mm. A very good comic, but a comic. <laughs> but the only metal appears to be the fins, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. But seriously, just an amazing paint job, mm. and exactly how I remember it on film and. Yeah exactly how they picture it in the magazine. Now, ordinarily, this would be the bit where I go, ooh, the coloration on that is not quite right. But this is lighter than what you'd have seen on the screen, but I think it had to be to pick it out in such detail. And yeah. additionally to that, it's nowhere near as light as the concept art they show on the magazine. Yeah. I think they reached a really good... Have sort of like a happy mid ground on the colours for mm. it, and I'm going to say, as far as paintwork goes, this is my favourite ship they've released. Okay, not my favourite ship, yeah, but for quality of paintwork, the only one that has been close to this was the one they did for the Tholian, yeah, because that again, that was a stunning ship. Now, in regards to Detail, I, I'd say it's incredibly well detailed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give that a nine. Okay. Okay, what are your thoughts? Because um, uh, Species 8472, I mean, Voyager's not one of your favourites, no. but Species 8472 wasn't a, a, a thing for you particularly. No, well. no, no, I mean, it's, it's like, it's another solid one. I think I'm going to give it an eight and, and go with uh, go with the past, the past or an eight. It's It's... A solid inclusion into the, the collection. It's a shame it's not a bit more die cast, but would that have uh, to just score if it had uh, been more die cast? No, I probably wouldn't have done to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking whether it, if they'd done uh, these parts in metal, the, the shape probably wouldn't have been as defined. No, then the level of detail. I mean, if you just run yeah. your finger over that. The level of detail in there is stunning. Yeah, no, that, 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 I don't think that could have been constructed in another way. See, Maybe would, the central part. I'd have part cheated, in metal. you know, I wouldn't have done the fins in metal. I'd have done the central component in metal. Yeah. Because that way we might have got a slightly darker black rather than mm. the, the browny black they've gone with. And then the fins would have been the same sheen yeah. as the outer shell. But um, there's nothing wrong with it. 
but again, nothing you're outstanding not, to you're me. You're not impressed with the detail. I'm really no. impressed with the detail on this one. Well, I, I think it's... The paint job, I mean, the silver yeah, there and it's, there. And it's just... I have no atten a, a, a attachment to the shirt. Okay, well, look, it's, yeah. it's fair enough. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything for me. So, on the same guidelines, you weren't particularly impressed in the magazine then? <laughs> Uh, no, it's just, well, I mean, you know, I've only briefly had a flick through it and it's not engaged me, really. I mean, this is the thing, is the Voyager as a whole didn't engage me what? after the first... After the Changing first your ringtone does not get you out of buying a pint. <laughs> What's ring ring? Is that, is that That's a message? That's an email. Oh, it's an email? Yeah. Do you have to buy me pints for emails? No. I can't not. <laughs> <laughs> need to get but my friends I'm just to like, <laughs> It's it's it, there's nothing wrong with it. This is the thing. Is it, it, it it's just I, I find it difficult to get excited about something I'm not excited about. You know what I mean? No, because I th there have been ships where I've not liked the ship, but the mm. model has been that good. Yeah, that it's worked for me. Yeah. So I mean, I I'll admit, Grissom. the the eight four seven two isn't an amazing spec. I I like the the. the the spe I like the concept of the species. I didn't quite like the things the they CG did with it. Really, the CG at the time really wasn't up to No, that, that, that wasn't much, actually was it? it. It was just that they, they created this big bad thing that could kill the Borg. Yeah. And then went, oh, but by the way, they want to kill everything else as well. And I just, I, I had trouble getting into the mindset. And then they did the whole power play between, you know, Jamie representing the Federation, helping the Borg to wait. It got very sort of a... Muddy. Yeah. Yeah, it did. But yeah. the, the the ship, yeah, great. I, I'm amazed at the detailing. So, mm. okay. Right. Well, well, I'm going to give it all. I'm going with eight on each one. You went you eight get, and nine. I'm going to go eight and nine. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy with it. things to pick up on okay. while we're here. Um, one, a shout out to one of our one of our subscribers, Tony Thrussell. Yes. Who was on the Sky What uh, Skies the Fanatics TV program <laughs> doing Star Trek. Yeah. Won his episode. Um, so well done Tony, but really G George Takai's eye. <laughs> Didn't recognise George Takai. That's gonna haunt you till the grave. <laughs> There was a Twitter conversation a little while back, which I got involved with Ben, with Ben from Ben Robinson at um, Eagle Moss. Um, and he was basically doing a Q and A session on Twitter, and there were several things that came out of that. Uh, I actually asked a couple of questions. One was was space dock, obviously. Mm. By the way, <laughs> we, we need a space dock. We need a space dock. Um, are we still going to start running with that campaign now? Yeah, yeah we're going to keep running that. Because cool. um, basically, a load of people have have basically said, yes, yes, why have we got a space dock? He actually said that he'd probably like to do it, but it's not really a starship, so he's not sure it fits in. And But then people said, well, what about Deep Space Nine? Because that was in it. Yeah. So, was, yeah, was, yeah. yeah. Uh, confusion there. And the other thing I asked is, is if there's any possibility of other ships in each of the classes. Mm. Um, because at the end of the day, to have... I mean, there is a Nebula class variant we could do with C, which is the, the Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix. Um, it's a different um, roll bar section, mm -hmm. the module. Um, and he basically said, well, technically speaking, we could actually do individual ships with different numbers on to order, but it would be very expensive. And then went on to say that for the first time he was unveiling this, they're going to do the Mirror, Mirror Universe Enterprise. So you're going to be like, they're happy. Oh, yeah. ISS Enterprise is coming out of that. Um, other questions from Irish Trekkie and various other people yeah. on that on that um, came up with a few interesting... Oh, that is his screen name. We're not yeah. just going the Irish Trekkie. Trekkie, no, that is his, that, 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 uh, that, that's the actual his, um, YouTube, YouTube account and, and stuff like that. Um, cool. Um, after the bird of, after the D for bird of prey from Into Darkness, uh, which is the fourth special, the fifth special is definitely going to be the Kelvin. Yeah. 
And the sixth special appears to be the NX01 refit, mm. which is quite nice. Uh, which makes it significantly bigger than the NX01 that's going to be running around in people's collections. So that's a little bit strange, I'm thinking. Oh, but I think so. That's quite cool. Um, the premium shuttlecraft that are coming yes. out in Germany, apparently we are getting them, but they're trying to work out quite how. So I'm hoping they come in like a special pack or two, yeah. two specials or something like that. Apparently we're getting dedication plaques for the Enter for the sorry for the Voyager and the Defiant. Yes. I assume by the Defiant they mean the DS9 Defiant. That's only <laughs> yeah. the DS9. Yeah. Um, what else was there? Other Powerful ships. Little ship. Yeah. Other ships they're looking at doing. Um, alternate uh, alter, alternate versions of the Borg Cube. Mm -hmm. Well, because yeah. someone asked, what about the Borg Cube from Japan? And he went, well, we can have a look at that. But I have my own ideas. The Borg cubes are like, ooh. Let's ooh. get them all. Descent. Um, <laughs> that's what came to my head, into my mind. Um, Although, to be fair, that is a dangerous road to go down because yeah. like every version of the Borg cube is technically different. Yeah, quite. There was also some suggestion that we'll get more variations on the Miranda class, so Soyuz, Soyuz and, yeah. and possibly uh, similar on the Nebula class as well. Um, and then the final thing that was mentioned was kind of more final confirmation that the relativity and the botany bay were coming. Cool. Yeah, the botany bay is issue 60, I believe, so... Yeah, the relativity as well. Yeah, the uh, relativity we an issue or two before, something like that. Um, so that's, that's all quite cool. Um, Does that put us in, what, the 60s? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah botany bay was the, the 60th issue. Cool. So, uh, there have been a couple of images released as well, the steam runner class and the Jaeger class. And the steam runner class. <laughs> yeah. The USS Jaeger, which I think is actually so, saved the class. Yeah, it just so. makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I ju I just, I, I'd like to know if originally the steam runner class ship was supposed to be called the Thunder Child. Thunder and Child, the, yeah. Um, and, and the name that was on this on the steam runner class should have been the Akira class, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, swings so around, swings around us. It's all, it's all, it's all in the pre-production notes that got mixed up. I'm guessing somewhere yeah. along the lines, but there we go. There we go. Live events. Mm -hmm. So as we speak, future Sven and Dave are presently at first contact. Yes. Day. If this goes, if this episode goes out on to, on schedule, yes, well, yeah. it will be during the weekend. I'll, I'll be sitting at first contact, going, going activate. Why won't it work? <laughs> Why won't it work? Release the video. Um. Yeah. What is um, that like? Release the crack. Yes. Nice. Release the hounds. Um, yes. <laughs> um, and then other live events. We've got uh, Geek Meet, which should be in two weeks' time when this video goes out. Okay. Theoretically. Theoretically and ish. then Auto Assembly Transformers event in August. I'm looking forward to that one there. Yeah. Because I'm going to be a wash of alcohol. <laughs> Besides, after the pony video, I don't think that, yeah, I, I have no more shame. I have no more shame, that's it. Yeah, it's all good. It's your idea. Yeah. Good. Right. <laughs> so, you can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. And, of course, there is the official Geekology website. Thank you for watching and good night. Bye.